Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small-town dealership, small-town prices. Today tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. When I came back to school this year, I brought my bank with me, and the student checking account at First American National Bank was perfect for me. No monthly fees and no minimum balance, and I can manage my money right from the app. I can do all my banking with text messaging if I want, and I can deposit a check just by taking a photo. It's that easy at FAMB. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. My bank followed me to college. I took my bank to college with me. I took my bank to college with me. It's that easy at First American National Bank. Good evening and roll tribe ICC fans and welcome as we're getting set to tip off a little men's basketball action here on the ICC Sports Network as your number 23 Indians get set to host the Southwest Bears here this evening at the Davis Event Center. Joined as always by Mr. Jim Ingram here in the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth here on the Davis Ford pregame show. And Mr. Jim, this late in the season, games get tougher and tougher. And tonight it's going to be a little bit of the same here for the Indians. No doubt about it, Adam. Glad to be here tonight with you. Of course, our Indians have had a great year so far, 18-2 overall, 8-1 in the division, and playing a very good Southwest community, Mississippi Community College team. The Bears are 13-9 overall, but 6-4 and four in the division, so it's going to be a test tonight. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look at tonight's starting lineups, and we'll start with Southwest. Of course, these starting lineups being brought to you by our friends over at Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works. Thank you, Adam. Southwest Bears starting tonight. Number zero, Isaac Bryce, a 6'6 forward from Picayune, Mississippi. Number two, Joe Holloway, a 6'3 guard, a sophomore from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, North Forest High School. Number four, Mark Drone, a six-foot guard, a freshman from Jackson, Mississippi, Lanier High School. Number 10, Blake Hart, a 5'9 guard, a freshman from Biloxi, Mississippi, Biloxi High School. And number 21, Deshaun Joseph, a 6'6 freshman from Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. So he's through bit, Westlake Prep, at, right down the road. Yeah, he's a little bit out of the zip code, if you no will, there, about being it. from Canada. Of course, hopefully maybe his family's watching tonight. We hope they enjoy tonight's broadcast as well. Let's take a look at tonight's Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works starting lineups for ICC. ICC and Coke, now that's a winning combination. And Coach Grant Pate, hope he has that same winning combination put together tonight. Adam, tonight for the ICC Indians, sitting at 18-2 and overall, 8-1 in the division. Number three, Josh Lee, the 6'3 freshman guard from Canton, Mississippi, Hartfield Academy. Number four, Colby Horst, the 6'3 freshman guard, Spanish Fort, Alabama. Number 12, George Marshall, 6'4 forward from Jackson, Mississippi, Forest Hill High School. Number 14, Jaden Webb, a 6'10 freshman from Olive Branch, Mississippi. And rounding out the starting lineup, number 21, Rock Robinson, 6'6 sophomore from Pontotoc, Mississippi. Rock has been playing some of his best basketball at late. Averaging close to 12 points per game over the last four or five games for ICC. We're going to take a quick break, come back, and we'll put the brakes on the Davis Ford pregame show and have that first American National Bank opening tip from Fulton right after this here on the ICC Sports Network. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small-town dealership, small-town prices. They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. Today, 
tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. First American offers online and mobile banking features to make your banking experience easy and safe. Activate or deactivate your debit card as needed, attach images to your transactions, apply travel notices to your account, and make person-to-person -person payments. You can even set up text alerts to guard against unauthorized spending or just to monitor your account balance. The best part, that you can bank anytime, anywhere. At First American National Bank, get that hometown feel, the high-tech touch. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we start to put the brakes on the Davis Ford pregame show here. But before we do that, we still got a little bit of business to take care of. But Jim, we got to talk about our Bank Oklahoma keys to victory tonight here for the Indians. What do you think is going to take for the Indians to be successful tonight? Playing a good team tonight, Adam. We, we talk about this a lot, but starting out, starting out strong, rebounding, offensive rebounding, defensive rebounding, playing a good, solid defense, get, get a fast break going. We've got a lot of depth. Rebound, push the ball up the court, and get a good start. And those are your Bank Oklahoma keys to victory through the eyes of Mr. Jim Ingram. Of course, they've got a new name, but they have the same great service that North Mississippi has come to know and trust for over 75 years. John Hare and the rest of the staff at Bank Oklahoma is proud to support ICC Athletics here on the ICC Sports Network. We see the Indians having their starting lineup called out right now. And Jim, uh, we talked about it. every game is big for the Indians this late in the season right now sitting on top of the conference in those rankings. But you take a look at a team like Southwest, they may have four losses in the conference, but they're only two games back from uh, being in second place uh, in the standings. No doubt about it. You know, we, you don't want to put pressure on yourself. It's great to win, but as soon as you keep winning, you find yourself first place. You want to stay in first place, so everybody's shooting towards you now. Got to be ready to play tonight, and I think they will be. Real quick message from First American National Bank, and we'll come back with that opening tilt for Fulton right after this. Show your school spirit with our exclusive debit cards. Represent ICC with a special card design you can only get from First American National Bank. You'll show your support every time you use the card. Support ICC with a spirit debit card from FANB. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the ICC All-American Pep Band rocking the house already. Hard to beat it whenever you've got a lively crowd here at the DEC. As we have that first American National Bank opening tip controlled by Southwest. Southwest in their blue uniforms trimmed in white. ICC, they're going to be in the opposite. White trimmed in blue, and that's going to be a foul quickly in the contest. Moving screen is going to be called there on Isaac Bryce. So not even seven seconds into the game, and <laughs> already got a foul. Already got a foul call. Hopefully that is not going to be the trend for the rest of the night. Indians with the basketball now on the far side of the floor, as we already mentioned, wearing their white uniforms, trimmed in blue. Outside they go. This is Robinson. He wants to drive inside. Gets the shot up, and it falls. Looked like he lost a little bit of control of it on the way up. Was able to get enough of it to fall through, and a nice Indian. start. Good start. Two to zero. Indians over the Southwest Bears. So the Bears with the basketball now. ICC in their traditional man-to-man -man defense. Robinson with the steal, and they're going to say he stepped out of bounds, though, as he got the loose ball. And so the ball will go back to the Bears. Good hustle by Rock. Just couldn't keep it in bounds. Two to zero. We just started the ball game tonight. 19-22 left in the first half. ICC men, Indians to the Southwest Bears, zero. Of course, with the men at home, that means the women are on the road, so we'll try to bring you updates throughout the evening on that broadcast. Three-pointer on its way. It's off the mark. No good. Long rebound is corralled there by Colby Horace. Horace wanting to go the length of the floor. Lost his footage. Now gives it up to Webb. Webb's jumper off the mark. No good. Easy rebound for the Bears. Now here comes Holloway wanting to push on the other end. Working off a screen, and that's going to be another moving screen. 
Bryce has been hit twice with those moving screens, and he turns around and kind of questions the call, but what's happening is he's taking that step forward or leading into the screen, and got to be careful there if you're Bryce. you got to get him out of the game. Two fouls in the first minute of the first half. Got two fouls. Coach has not made a move yet. They haven't made that move yet, so we'll see how much longer he does stay on the floor. So the Indians with it. Not a lot of scoring to start the contest. Jumper on its way. That one off the mark, no good. And the rebound, once again, corralled easily that time by the Bears. That's Joseph with the rebound. Bears trying to work it around the perimeter. ICC, good defense. Now they tr go inside, running hook shot. Friendly roll as that one falls for Hart. Ties us up at two. And... Well, that official is who I thought it was. He just has a new hairdo. <laughs> As a couple of players got tied up after the play there, and they let them separate and go about their way. Drive to the basket, nice. layup is good. Good job by Josh Lee. <clears throat> Strong finish to the basket there by Lee. Lead back to two here. We've got a foul, going to be pushing foul, whistled here on the Indians. <clears throat> So right now, Southwest doing a good job early keeping the Indians off the offensive boards. And that's one thing we said, rebounding, always a key when you get these type of teams together. Four to two, Indians with the lead. Southwest has the ball, 17-45 left in the first half. Bears looking to go on the drive, kicks it back out. Wanting to work one-on-one, -on -one, goes inside, shot blocked. Big time denial there by Jaden Webb. Good job by Jaden, the 6'10 center. You saw his length in to get that block. Three pointer on its way, pushes it up, and there's going to be a foul on the Indians. And that's going to be on number 12, George Marshall. And Marshall didn't waste any time. He just went ahead and headed towards the sideline, figuring he was going to get pulled out on that one. It's just his first. Well, is, is that his second foul? Woo, it is. Michael, thank So you. it is going to be his second foul. So right now you've got Bryce and Marshall each with two fouls in the contest. That first free throw is up any good. That is Mark Drone with the basket. Chris, Adam, go ahead. I'm sorry. Chris Mitten checking in for ICC. This is a substitution that's being brought to you by the Kegel Eye Center. Need to get your eyes checked? Give them a call at 862-EYES. That's 862-EYES. Adam, the two guys, each team that has two fouls, did go out of the ball game. Missed the young man that came in on the part for Southwest. Tough shot, but nice, nice put back. Kobe Horace coming in. Flashing in there and gets the layup. Largest lead of the night now at, or excuse me, no. It is not the largest lead of the night. It matches the largest lead of the night at two. Thought it was a four-point game. And there's a turnover. Horace steps in front of that pass. Now wanting to go coast to coast and had it slapped away. Good transition defense out of the Bears. Now they're going to try to take advantage on the other end. That layup is good. Holloway finishes on the other side. Ties us up now at six. Javius Moore came in for Southwest, Adam. So that is your other substitution there for the Bears. Six apiece, 16.30 left in the first half. Minton with the basketball, drives inside, puts up a wild shot, air ball, good no foul call there as he was trying to draw it after he was out of control. Inside out they go, floater in the paint, no rebound, tipped out, and Minton in the right spot at the right time to find it. Webb intimidated that layup attempt. Great job by Jaden. Well, the Indians try to get out in transition. Good job by Southwest to force them back out. Three-point basket on its way. Good. Nice. Josh Lee buries the three, and now ICC takes their largest lead tonight at three. Nine to six. Josh Lee leading the team with five points. 16 minutes left in the first half. And then there's a steal by the Indians. Lee picks the pocket. Now going to try to get down the floor. Kicks it out to Mitten. Eyes, tries, buys the three-point basket. Indians offense suddenly waking up here, and they've doubled up the Bears 12 to 6, coming up on 15 and a half to play in the contest. 
And a travel call. Good defense. Josh that, Lee on that one, too. Chris Minton, when he sets his feet, he is nailing the threes. Really come on strong. Last four or five games, just like Rock Robinson nailing the threes. Yes, and that's one thing that the Indians have been able to take advantage of over the last few games has been their ability to knock down some of those three-point baskets. Of course, we talk about the Indians. They struggled at Sanatobia last week and fell behind by 13 before they were able to come back and find a way to win that one. Had a turnover here. Southwest has the ball, driving in for a layup. No good. Southwest does rebound it. Number one, Moore that just came in the ball game. Long three, no good. Tipped out of bounds. Indians ball. I'm trying to find 12 where the to six. Game is going to be aired tonight as we have oh. a break in the basket. Thought it was Indians ball. My, my, my bad. Southwest ball. How dare you, Jim? Uh, I messed up. Joseph from Ontario, <laughs> Canada plays it in. I like him. I use that Canada reference a lot. 12 to 6 Indians. 15 minutes left in the first half. Nice drive. Moore that came off the bench gets his first two for, for the Bears. So a big basket there for the Bears. Makes it a 12 to 8 contest now. ICC with the basketball. This is Mitten. Gets cut off on the drive. I thought he walked. I did too, Adam. <clears throat> you and I both thought he did. Glad they didn't call it. Now Lee drives inside, had <clears throat> his pocket picked, and here comes the Bears. Wanting to get out and push. This is Moore. Moore didn't like what he has. Now sets it back up. Ball fake. Kicks out. Moore thought about it. Now wants to reset the offense. Fifteen seconds on the shot clock now. Skip pass. Three-pointer on its way. Off the mark. No. Rebound put back up in and good. Well, that time Joseph just used his size over the shorter mitten to get to the basketball, was able to put it back, and now what was once upon a time a six-point advantage has shrunk back down to two. 12 to 10, 14 minutes left in the first half. Indians with it, spinning the paint. Nice. Puts a shot up, <clears throat> and how was that? <clears throat> that was called a jump ball. Jump ball? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would have called it a foul on the back. I wouldn't have called it a jump ball. <laughs> you had a chance for a push off on the spin move and then a tackle at the five-yard line, <laughs> a holding penalty. Either way it goes, that's, we play on. Indians with it now. Lee with the basketball, loses the handle, able to come back and find it. Crosses over the defender, somehow splits through and – the ball poked away again. The officials are letting them be physical in the paint. 12 to 10, Indians with the lead. 13-30 left in the first half. Of course, we see this from time to time with this same crew, and I don't want to sound like I'm harping on them, but they let them play physical for three and a half quarters as there's a two-point basket knocked down by Hart. And then usually about halfway through the latter part, I'd say three and a half quarters. Of course, they don't play by quarters, but about that last eight minutes, all of a sudden, everything Tightens gets caught. up. Yep. Inside out they go. Robinson for three. Needed it. Bang. They won a 6-0 run until Rock hit that one. Big time basket there for Rock Robinson. Pushes the lead back to three here for the Indians. Kick it out, thought about the three. Good recovery on the defense side. Lay up and it spins around and falls. Deion Brown with the friendly roll there. Makes it a 15-14 contest. Back and forth we go in this one. This is Marshall with the basketball. Lee spins, paint opens up and he finishes. Tell you what, he is being physical tonight. Well, that's one thing you got to do. If they're going to let them play physical defensively, you got to step up and match that intensity offensively, and that's kind of Josh's game. He kind of feeds off that, and he has done so tonight in the contest. Mitten with the steal, and a foul is going to be called here on the Bears. Should be on Drone. And that is going to be the case there. That foul on Drone is going to be his first team third foul. ICC's been hit with a couple. Indians with the ball, leading 17 to 14, 12 minutes and change left in the first half. Robinson with the basketball now, drops it off. This is Singleton who has checked into the contest. Rock gets it back, 
off the side of the backboard. Now kicks it out to Mitten, who wants the three. That one no good. Rebound inhaled there by Joseph. He has controlled the boards today for the Bears. That ball off the hands of Brown. It goes out of bounds back to the Indians. Just one of those mental mistakes right there. Wasn't ready for the basketball, and ICC able to take advantage. Mitten with the ball now. Works off a screen, looking to drive inside, taken away by the Bears' defense. Mitten for three. That one long, no good. And another rebound pulled down by the Bears. Bears are doing a really good job of keeping the Indians off the offensive boards. And that ball is going to go out of bounds. Last touch by the Bears. Great defense again as that was Jamari Marshall coming in, slapping that one away. And it came right back in the hands of the defender, who technically could have came down with it, but right. panicked, tried to find somebody to dish it off to, and the turnover gives it back to the Indians. Good defense for the Indians. 11-15 left in the first half. Indians 17, the Bears of Southwest 14. So this is Jamari Marshall. Nice. Buries it. <clears throat> Big basket knocked down there by Marshall. Lead back to six now for the Indians. Drive to the basket, and there's going to be a foul on ICC. I think that's on Josh, isn't it? I believe you're correct. We'll see if they're going to put him on the free throw line as... Fourth team foul, though. And that is the foul. It was on Josh Lee, his first foul. According to the scoreboard, both teams with three fouls in the contest. That first free throw is up no good. Brown misses the front end of a two-shot opportunity. Second free throw, good. Nice job stepping up and knocking that one down. Makes it a five-point contest here with 11 minutes to go until halftime. Mind you, stay tuned at halftime as there's going to be a pushing foul. Is that and a shooting foul, you they're think? They're going to say it was very generous there. Very it's, nice. Looked like the foul became before he started to go in motion with the shot. So this will send Jamari Marshall to the free throw line. But remind you, we'll try to check in on the women's game at halftime. As they're at Southwest. That is a long road trip. Jim, we may, well, no, you didn't go with us in football. Jim doesn't travel more than four hours. He's like, <laughs> Dude, no, I'm he's, like he's like, how long is it? Three and a half? Eh, that's pushing it for me. As that first free throw is good. I came flying by there last week on the way back from Louisiana. Didn't realize how far. Is it Summit? Is that correct? Summit, yes. Down around the Macomb area. Yeah, nice little drive. I've got family that lives out in Liberty, so any chance I get to go down there, it's always good to try to catch up with them. As that first free throw was good. Second free throw not going to follow suit as it kicks out. And the Indians maintain that six-point advantage. Southwest with it. Spots it up for the three from the corner. It's off the mark. No good. Strong rebound. Ripped down that time by Lee. Indians open floor. Crossover. Oh, my gosh. No. <coughs> that would stopped. not go. But that there, will go. He got his own rebound. Did Pearson and finally got it to go. Lead is eight. And we're going to have a pushing foul here on the Indians. That one's going to go against Singleton. Thought for a second, basketball is going to get caught on the back rim and just sit there. I know it. Adam, we got Singleton in. Also, Eddie Page just coming in. Got some good substitutions coming in here. So we're coming up on 10 minutes to play here. ICC leading this one 28 to 15. Loose ball, and there's going to be. I've never really liked that foul call. Both players hustling for the basketball. Unfortunate for the Southwest player, he undercut an ICC player diving right. for the basketball. And Unintentional. Yeah, and Southwest coach kind of arguing the same thing there, but that is a call that they do call, but it's just one of those I hate to see it called in that situation. Drive inside, and there's a bumping foul here on the Bears. So this will send Jamari Marshall back to the free throw line here. The ICC with their largest lead of the night, 23-15. 
A chance to continue to build on that lead here with some free throws. First one good. Marshall's come off the bench, giving us five quick points, playing very well here with 10 minutes left until halftime. Substitution into the contest here. Holloway will re-enter for the Bears. Second free throw, good. Man, it was eerily quiet on that free throw as the Indians now take their first double-digit lead of the night, coming up on 10 minutes to go until halftime. Bears with the basketball, pick up the dribble. Oh, beautiful nice, pass. Nice Layup play. is good. Give them credit. Absolutely. Just a little old-school basketball. Set somebody in the middle, cut away from the ball, and see if you can beat your defender. They did so. Great assist from Bryce. And a big basket there for the Bears to keep it within double digits. Indians with it now. Marshall will go on the drive. Now tries to beat his defender baseline. Underneath they go, and oh. What a block. Page tried to throw that one down, just lost the handle of the basketball. As you said, a big-time block there to break up that potential slam. So we got another substitution coming in here. This is going to be number 15 for the Bears. This is Maury coming in. And for the Indians, it would be number 21, Rock Robinson, into the contest. These substitutions are being brought to you by your State Farm Insurance agent, Brandon Poland. For all your insurance needs, whether it be home, auto, or life, give Brandon a call at 862-9648. That's 862-9648. You get a free quote when you set up your appointment today. Indians try to bounce that one underneath. Good defense on the part of uh, Bryce that time. It looked like Josh Lee kind of just got caught up in the he air. Got caught up in there. You're yep. right, Adam. Committed that cardinal sin, as they say in basketball. Jumping without knowing what you wanted to do in that situation. So now the Bears get it back. They trail 27, or excuse me, 25 to 17. Inside nine minutes to play. That ball nearly taken away. Bears get it back. Oh, nice extra bounce pass. Got trapped underneath the basket, so he had to kick it back out. Baseline jumper, good. Big basket knocked down there by Joseph. Every time the Indians have a chance to kind of put this thing away, the Bears just come clawing back into it. Cut it to six, 25-19. <coughs> Eight and a half minutes till halftime. Indians with it now as they kick it around. And I'm going to call a travel in that situation. And so the turnover will give the ball back to the Indians. Chris Minton will check back in here. Substitution being brought to you by the Bank of Oklahoma. New name, same great service that North Mississippi has come to know and expect for over 75 years. John Herod and all the fine folks out there at the Bank of Oklahoma, proud to sponsor tonight's action. Baseline jumper up and falls through. Indians lost Holloway on the defensive side of the ball. And he made them pay in a big jumper there. Now what was a 10-point lead is back down to four. Who made, made that for him? That was Holloway. Thank you, sir. He's got six. Page with the basketball now works it over to Mitten. Mitten up top to Robinson. Marshall wanting to work off a screen. Now tries to split defenders. Tries to force a pass underneath, and it's going to be out of bounds. Last touched by the Bears with seven seconds on the shot clock. Another substitution coming in here. Kobe Horace will re-enter the contest. For the Indians, Pearson will head out. Adam, give Southwest credit. They've been on a 6-0 run here to cut this lead to four. Horace gets it, forces a shot up. It's airballed, and the Bears get it. Now here comes the Bears, and Mitten out of nowhere slaps that one into the stands. Good job by Mitten hustling on the play to allow the defense to get reset. No, that stopped the fast break. They had a breakaway. Substitution in here for the Bears. Drone will re-enter the contest. Also looks like Moore will come back in for the Bears. Substitutions that are being brought to you by the ICC Baptist Student Union. They meet Monday nights at 7.07. You can follow them on Twitter at ICCBSU. So the Bears with the basketball have continued to cut into this 10-point advantage. Has got it down to a 25-21 game. Three-pointer big. Moore knocks down the three-pointer and stares down the student section <laughs> after doing so. You don't need to do that. Come on. As the Indians get it back now on the other end, Mitten going to drop this one off. 
to Jamari Marshall. Indians going to try to reset now with 12 seconds on the shot clock. And then just nearly turn it over, and they do. Big stop there. Now the Bears can take their first lead of the night with the basket this trip down the floor. The Indians force them to reset the offense. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Three-point basket, and we've got a foul away from the ball here. And it's going to go against the Bears. That one looks like it's going to go against Moore with a push in the back. That's going to be his first foul and should result in free throws because it's not a player control foul. And so it'll be a one and one opportunity here for the Indians on the other end. We need it, Adam. They're on a 9-0 run. We're only winning 25-24, 6.42 left at halftime. Isaac Bryce, a starting forward who played one minute earlier in the half, sitting for 13 minutes. He's back into the ball game for them. So this will send Jamari Marshall to the free throw line. His first free throw good. I believe Jamari's pulling a quick one on the referees here as he was not near the basketball when the foul was called. And that's what we did in high school. If uh, we had a foul called away from him, we had to walk the length of the floor, we would walk our best free throw shooter to the line and make the referees make us change it. And the Indians cash in on a pair of free throws there from Marshall. If they don't see it, they don't know it. And the Indians cash in there, pushes the lead back out to three. 27 to 24, 640 to go in the contest. Bears thought about to step out three, nothing there. And are they going to call a timeout? And they are. Timeout on the floor. We're going to take the timeout with them and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. Ooh, bumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance Replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM Refunds today. And welcome back as we reset out of the timeout here. Six and a half to go until halftime. ICC leading this one 27 to 24. We do want to invite you for a marathon of softball tomorrow here on the Red Channel. Two o'clock, four o'clock, six o'clock is the triple header as ICC will host Marion Military and Northwest Florida State in a trio of games. Up and under they go. Shot is up and good. Nice move there by Bryce. Who finally got back into the game. He did. Those games originally scheduled for Saturday. Actually, it was a doubleheader for Marion originally scheduled for Saturday. Turns into a triple header, and then softball will try to host Northwest Florida State in a doubleheader starting at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Baseball, they were supposed to travel to Calhoun on Saturday. Now we'll travel to Calhoun tomorrow. Uh, that game will be available. You want to follow us on Twitter for the link for that game down at Calhoun. That'll be a noon start. Tennis will be at Decatur tomorrow against UT Southern, formerly known as Martin Methodist. And I think that's all we got going on. Not much. Not a whole lot this time of year. <clears throat> no, we sir. Indians with the basketball. Mitten drives inside. Wild shot, and Unreal. it falls. Unreal. Well, there is an early nominee for next week's Wada Play Wednesday, brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Is a little... Hooping a prayer that time, if you will, as he got it to fall. Lead back to three now for the Indians. Ooh. And then that one taken away. Lee with the steal, and he's going to lay that one in. I like it. He felt like he had a defender on his hip, didn't want to try to go up for the jam, get the for sure points, and put the Indians up by five. And that's going to be a pushing foul there on Mitten. Good call as he was leaning in a little bit too much with the body there. 31-26, Indians for the five-point lead. Adam talking about your triple header tomorrow in softball. The radio talent will be Adam Gore and Michael Upton, I believe. Will. It will. Talent is uh, used loosely in that <laughs> sentence. But Michael will be joining us on there. So do invite you guys to tune in as 
Tucker has checked in for the Indians during that timeout. As there's a wild shot That's put up count. and count the basket. But he just got the basketball inside that time, did more. Got the defender on his hip, threw one up. And a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. Javius Moore's come off the bench and given them seven big points to keep them in the ball game tonight. 31-28, <clears throat> Indians by three. The Bears shooting one free throw, trying to cut it to two. And he does. Big basket there. And again, Moore, he is obsessed with the student section. Blew him a kiss that time after making the free throw. Well, you keep up those antics, you better do good tonight because yeah, that's right. if you ever give the students something to get after you about, they sure will. Lee with the basketball. He's had a good first half here for the Indians. Drive inside. His shot is up. No good. And the rebound tipped out. And the loose ball controlled that time by Coleman. Or excuse me, though, that was Holloway. So Holloway will reset it now with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Leaves it inside to Moore. Moore loses the handle of the basketball and gets, as expected, the treatment from the students in the cheer section. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just gonna say this, I like it though. I do I too. mean, sometimes a player needs something to get, get them motivated, get them to play, and Moore hasn't done anything that's out of line or rude, but if a student section's giving you heck and you make a three-pointer, you let them know, hey, I hear you, did you see that? <laughs> yeah. And he's got to expect it when he turns the ball over, so the section's yep. going to let him know about it. Yes, yes. So this is Horace to the free throw line. His first one is off the mark, mm. no good. Gets his own rebound, goes underneath for the layup, and it was partially blocked. Loose ball still on the floor. And there's going to be a foul. Really? I'm with you there, Jim. If they're going to call oh, a that's a quick foul. <clears throat> That one's called on Josh Lee. Josh just tried to reach in and tie up the basketball. Quick whistle. <clears throat> We're not the officials, but we disagree with the call, but it doesn't matter if we disagree or agree with the call. Well, I'll say this, though. It's, um, it's one of those, like, I'll, I'll say something, but for Mr. Jim to say something that quickly about a foul call, you know has to be surrounded by a question mark. As this is sending more to the free throw line. And he makes that one. Tell you what, Moore's got nine points and has kept them in the ball game. He's been very impressive and a chance to tie it up here with a second make. And he does. 31-31 is the score. ICC has led as much as 10 in the first half. The Bears have fought back and tied it up with just over four minutes to play here in the first half. Remind you, we'll have some updates from the women's game. Check in on it at halftime, part of the Little Caesars halftime report. Three-pointer on its way. That one off the back iron, no good. Well, the Indians kind of settled down for a little while and starting to rely a little bit too much on the three versus attacking the basket like they were early in the contest. Bears want to go inside. Oh, nice little give-and-go action there. That shot is up, no good. Offensive rebound put back. No, but there's a foul. Well, the Bears are being the aggressor here in the latter stages of this first half, Jim. Give them credit. Made a good run here. They're down 10. She mentioned Adam, and they've come all the way back. And is this could they, be their yes, first lead of the ball game? Could be their first lead of the ball game. And that free throw, though, left a little short. No good. Substitution coming in the game here. This is going to be Holloway checking in. Moore will check out. Substitution is being brought to you by the ICC Wesley Foundation. Located right across the street from us here at the Davis Event Center. You can follow them on Instagram at ICC Wesley. Well, that free throw is good, and it's the first lead of the night here for the Bears, and it comes at the 346 mark of the first half, 32 to 31. So the Indians with the basketball. This is Jamari Marshall with it. His brother George has not seen a lot of action. He picked up two quick fouls, has been on the bench ever since. As Robinson goes inside and a blocking foul is gonna be called here on the Bears. Close call, but I agree with the call. Not that the officials need my agreement, <laughs> but it was, I think, I think they, he was I moving. I think they do, Jim. No, nah, I don't believe I think they, they do. Need, yeah. 
Well, Jim, here's your favorite guy right here. The young man with the towel for ICC. Oh, and I forgot his name. Hey. I wrote it down one day and forgot it. Yeah, I had lunch with him the other day, and I was messing with him. I was like, look, I was like, I need you to sign a towel and let me give it to Mr. Jim at the end of the season. <laughs> he's got great talent, and he's always active. Well, that's what he said. He said, well, if I show the hustle, <laughs> even as a towel boy, he's like, the team has to hustle harder than me. He's like, you don't want me showing the guys up. And I was like, you know what? That's a pretty legit way of th talking about it. That free throw is off the mark, no good. We stay at 32-31. Bears with the basketball, a chance to build on this one-point lead, their largest of the evening. That three-pointer well off the mark, no good, and the rebound easily corralled that time by Jamari Marshall. Marshall tries to work away from the defender, now gets it up to Minton. Minton drives inside and had that one slapped away. Boy, we've seen that a lot of time tonight by the Bears. Oh, a trap. They called it. One of those, I think he was thinking about maybe doing a little skywalking that time before he got the basketball, had someone flash in front of him. Stutter stepped and turned it over. Tough break there for the Bears. Three oh five to go here until halftime. Lady Indians, they're up four to three down at Summit. That's with seven minutes to play in the first quarter. Webb with the basketball, drops it off to Jamari Marshall, drives inside, floater in the paint, rolls and falls. Good job, Jamari. And he's got 10 tonight. Adam, we got George Marshall back into the ball game late here in the first half. If you're George, you want to play smart here, not pick up that third foul. Indians with it. Or excuse me, not Indians, the Bears with it. That shot's up the mark, no good. And the rebound stripped away by Jamari Marshall. Jamari kicks it out. Three-pointer from George. Off the mark, no good. Rebound, though, to the Indians. Put back is there. That was a pass, I think. I like it. As that was Tucker. Give him an assist. In the right spot at the right time to put that one in. And the Indians lead back to three now. 35-32 coming up on two minutes left in the first half. Indians up by three on Southwest Bears. Nice drive inside. Picks up a dribble in trouble. Good defense on the part of the Indians. Three-pointers off the mark, no good. Rebound is going to be out of bounds. And, yep, off the foot of Webb it and then stay with the Bears. Good call by the official. You know, we, give them, we don't give them credit sometimes. Uh -huh. Give them credit this yes. time. Yes. That ball sounded flat when it hit the rim. It hit that back rim and kind of just died that time. The reason why that awkward rebound came off. So the Bears with the basketball now inside two minutes. Three-pointer from the corners on its way. No good, and Webb will collect a rebound. The Indians want to slow it down a little bit. As Marshall crosses into the front court. 15 seconds now on the shot clock, and Marshall just yo-yoing it up top. Now tries to cross other defender. Nothing there. Drops it off to George Marshall for three. That one off the back iron, no good. But Tucker with another rebound. Tucker has come in and provided some quality minutes no for the Indians. No doubt about it. Jamari wanting to work one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing there. Kicks it out to Tucker. Tucker back up top to George Marshall. Draws a double team. Tries to drive inside. His shot is up, and it's off the mark. No good. And the Indians get another rebound, and they're going to say it never hit the rim. And... That's, I'm going to have to say correct call. I never saw it hit the rim. I didn't see it hit the rim either. A minute left. Indians up by three. Southwest Bears have the ball. A minute left till halftime. 35-32. Indians up by three. That's a tough break there for the Indians, but a big break for the Bears as the Indians have, what, three or four rebounds just on that possession. So this is drawn with the basketball. Forced back out now, tries to call for the screen once again. Gets it this time. And there's going to be a reach-in foul on the Indians. Tough break there because the Indians did create the turnover. But Tucker got him across the arm. Or actually, no, they're going to call that on 11. So that one's going to go against Pearson. Mass substitutions coming in for both teams here. These substitutions being brought to you by Max Home. Max Holmes, they're hiring for all positions and are willing to train quality people. Join the best, train the best, be the best. Max Holmes with locations in Fulton 
and Sullivan, Alabama. First free throw, good. Knocked down there by Drone. Drone's got three points tonight. Played very steady. 42 seconds left until halftime. Indians up by two. Southwest could cut it to one here with this free throw. And the second free throw, no good. George Marshall with the rebound. Well, 10 seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. The Indians have been patient on the last few possessions. And they're, like they're going to go to a weave style here and try to see what the defense is going to give them. Lee drives inside, a lot of contact, no foul call, and the Bears get it now on the open floor. Layup, no good, but the putback is there. That was number 21, Joseph, able to get it back and get the shot to fall. We're tied at 35. We got time Five here. seconds. Got time. Loose ball. Jamari gets it back. Jumper on its way. Nice. Yes! Two-pointer, right? Yeah. Two-pointer knocked down by Jamari Marshall and the Indians will take a 37-35 to 35 lead into the break. We're going to take the timeout with them here from Little Caesars and more. Be back with more right after this. Little Caesars Detroit-style deep dish pizza has caramelized crispy cheese edges and a soft, chewy center. Do you love it, Matthew Stafford? I'm not a walking billboard. Okay, never mind. Pizza, pizza. Get Little Caesars Detroit-style deep dish pizza for just $8.99. Pizza, pizza. It's the Little Caesars Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. A Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. Totally. Thanks, Matthew Pafford. Order online before games and you can win prizes like Super Bowl 57 tickets. Pizza, pizza. This broadcast is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars in Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, TM Realtor Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Holm, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Cagle Eye Center, Bank Okalon, Samstown Market in Mantachi, State Farm Insurance Agent Brandon Poland, the ICC Wesley Foundation, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, and donations to the Sports Information Indian Club from viewers like you. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. The slices and the sticks. All I ever wanted for dinner was pizza, Marcy. And all I ever asked of you was sticks. <gasps> <gasps> Don't choose. Get Little Caesar slices and sticks. Half pizza, half Italian cheese sticks. And Dane's awake. <gasps> Dane. Dane. I smell bacon. <laughs> End the dinner drama with hot and ready slices and sticks. Or order online for new jalapeno or bacon sticks. Pizza, pizza. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as you watch the Palm Squad perform here at halftime. It's 37 to 35 ICC. Led as much as 10 in the first half, but able to take a two-point advantage into the break here. And, Jim, I know you've got some of those stats. Before we look at the stats, though, give me your thoughts on the first half. First half, up and down game. You know, we did have a 10-point lead, but give Southwest credit. They didn't panic. They substituted some players in, slowed the game down a little bit. We're looking at the stats here that Michael's done a great job on. Very even game on rebounds. Each team has, let's see, ICC has 13 rebounds. Southwest has 16. ICC's 5 of 7 free throw line, Southwest 8 of 11. Same amount of steals, very, very even ball game so far. Absolutely, and that reflects that on the scoreboard there. Let's take a look at some first half scoring. These stats are being brought to you by Samstown Market. They are your source for fresh meat, produce, dairy, local products. They're located at Highway 371 North, right there in the heart of Mantachi. Stop by and see Sam Ferris and the fine folks at Samstown Market. ICC Indians, of course, winning 37 to 35. Leading tonight, Jamari Marshall got 12 points. Josh Lee has nine. Minton has five. Tucker has two. Horace has two. Kevon Marshall Pearson came off the bench, got two. Rock Robinson has five. For Southwest, leading them tonight in scoring, Javis Moore, who came off the bench, has 10. Bryce has two. Holloway has six. Brown has three. Drone has three. Hart has four. J 
Deshaun Joseph, who has six points, also has nine rebounds for them. Isaiah Moore has one point, 37 to 35, Indians up by two. And those are your first half stats there. Brought to you by Samstown Market. Take a look at the first half highlights here uh, from this one. And Jim, we talked about it. What do the Indians need to do to be successful here in the second half? We did. We had a 10 point lead there and got a little careless. First of all, in turnovers. Second of all, taking the three point shot when we didn't get into our offense. Slow it down, get into your offense. Don't take, a, don't take the first shot that's available and you can extend that lead. Be patient, run your offense, and I think we'll find a way to win. And those. Second half keys to victory brought to you by Bank of Kelowna. A new name, same great service that North Mississippi has come to know and trust for over 75 years. John Herod and all the fine folks out there at Bank of Kelowna is proud to support ICC Athletics here on the ICC Sports Network. We're going to take a quick timeout. When we come back, we'll take a peek in at the women's game, see what's the, how things are going there in Summit. Right after this on the Little Caesars Halftime Report. Little Caesars Detroit-style deep dish pizza has caramelized crispy cheese edges and a soft, chewy center. Do you love it, Matthew Stafford? I'm not a walking billboard. Okay, never mind. Pizza, pizza. Get Little Caesars Detroit-style deep dish pizza for just $8.99. Pizza, pizza. It's the Little Caesars Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. A Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. Totally. Thanks, Matthew Pafford. Order online before games and you can win prizes, like Super Bowl 57 tickets. Pizza, pizza. If this just cost a little bit less. Let's take a look at that with the Renaissance Replay. Make the right call with over 400,000 shopping discounts right from the Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking app. Might be a little while before I get to the bank. That's an incomplete pass. Let's give it a Renaissance Replay. Renaissance Mobile Check Deposit. Make the right call and open an account with Renaissance today. So the two officials talk this one over. We've got 59.6 to play in this opening period in what is right now a 13-all game. They call it on 20 reds, so they just give her a foul. And that will be the fifth, so the Bears will shoot a pair. So they just caught a foul against Dixon, who picks up her second of the game. And it will be 32, JoJo Briggs that will have a chance to go to the free throw line. Bears are 50% in the early going from the free throw line. First one for Briggs in the air and clanks off no good. Boy, the Bears have missed the first free throw each time they've had, a, had an opportunity to shoot a free throw in the basketball game. Here comes the second free throw. That one clanks out no good. Peyton the rebound, the put back is good. Boy, you miss both free throws, but Peyton answers it for the Bears and makes it a 15-13 game. And Awamba comes down this other end in a hurry through traffic and a foul. Going to be called as it Awamba was going to the hoop. That went on 21 for the Bears. That's Michaela Peyton who's going to pick up her second. Only the second foul buzzed against the Bears, both of them on Peyton. This time it's a shooting foul. It Awamba. Uh, let's see, is Itawamba is two for two from the free throw line. First one is up and good. So Vic makes the first free throw, makes it a 15-14 game. Here's the second free throw for Vic. This one up, this one good too. So Vic makes them both at the free throw line. They continue. Their perfect evening from the free throw line to Zitawamba as they tied at 15. Bears coming in a hurry down this end. They get it to Briggs in traffic. Briggs to Williams, three ball good. Boy, look like the Bears might lose it. Instead, they get a three for their trouble. 18-15, 24 seconds to play here in the opening period. Indians with the basketball with Owens. Owens gearing up for the final shot of the quarter for South for Itawamba. 
Down to 12 on that clock, down to 11. Obviously the shot clock's turned off. She starts her descent towards the goal at five. Lost it, shot put up, won't go, Bears have it. Boy, now see if the Bears can get anything off. Lampley will just throw it towards the hoop, no good. And we will end the first quarter of play 18-15 with the Bears leading here inside the Southwest Basketball Center. Itawamba tried for the final shot, didn't go the way they planned it, and we have played a quarter, 18-15 your score, back in 30 seconds. On Little Caesar slices and sticks with half pizza, half Italian cheese sticks is back, so you'll never fight over dinner again. <laughs> Get hot and ready slices and sticks or order online for new jalapeno or bacon sticks. Pizza, pizza. It's the Little Caesars Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. A Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. Totally. Thanks, Matthew Pafford. Order online before games and you could win the total touchdown prize pack. Pizza, pizza. Ooh, fumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we start the second half of play here. Bears with the basketball. And ICC with a 37-35 advantage here to start the second half. Adam Gore, Jim Ingram, Michael Lupton, Raphael Henry, Lee Adams all on hand this evening here to help bring this action your way. Lee is updating Twitter. You can follow us there at Let's Go ICC. He's also taking photos tonight. You can see on iccimages.com. Digital downloads available for $1. There's a drive inside, a late whistle, and a late foul. Late whistle. Very late. Yeah, we caught we, a break there. We got, we got bailed out on that one. It's looked like that time Horace may have lost his balance. So that's going to be the first team foul here. That foul's going to be whistled on Blake Hart, his third foul. If you're just now joining us, uh, we did check in on the women's game. They're down 18 to 15 after a late three pointer there in the first quarter. Give Southwest the lead. Muscle the shot up. A lot of contact. Good no foul call there as both guys. Kind of getting physical back and forth there. Quick three-pointer on the other end. That one's short, no good. Rebound tipped out, and the loose ball is corralled there by Josh Lee. Lee, oh, freezes the defender. Goes up and can't finish, though. What a pretty move there by Josh Lee. Just froze the defender that time. Unfortunately, couldn't finish at the basket. Josh Lee, as we mentioned, has been really physical tonight going to the goal. So Lee will head Ooh. to the free throw line. Michael, you're right. Blake Hart just picked up his fourth foul. They got to get him out of the ball game. Wow, that's tough. We played one minute in the second half, 19 minutes left in this ball game. That free throw is good. Josh now in double digits. Got 10. And they do get the substitution in here. This is going to be number three, Brown, checking into the contest. And... Well, that was two quick fouls. Tough there on Blake Hart, and he will have to sit a while here. Second free throw good for Lee. Lead is four. ICC has led as much as ten in this contest. The Bears have only had one lead, and that was by one. So Southwest with the basketball looking to go to work here. Trying to drive inside. Good defense to take that away by the Indians. Jumper in the paint. Back iron no. And there's a loose ball foul on the rebound, and I believe this is going to be called against Webb. And that is going to be the case here. Tough break for the Indians as Lee had the rebound, but Webb just get a little too aggressive, kind of slinging the defender off of himself and trying to get that rebound. So the Bears get the basketball back now and they're going to throw it up. And picked up to, another you know, one. So that's going to be two quick fouls there on Webb, and he will have to check out here. Good job there. You got to give credit by Holloway. Holloway knows that Webb likes to block shots. Got him in the air. And that's what you're taught to do. Ball fake, get him in the air, jump into him, and draw that foul. And that's going to be his second. So into the contest here for the Indians is Eddie Page. That rebound tipped out, and the Bears control it. Then it's slapped away, but the Bears will get it back. Extra pass, and that's a charge. Good take there on the part 
of Colby Horace. And that one's going to be on Isaac Bryce, and that's going to be his third foul. His third. Isaac gets fouls early in the first half, and now early in the second half. He's got three. And so Indians will have it back here, a unique start to the second half here, I guess you could say. ICC with the basketball, M. White. Josh Lee with it. Lee pull up jumper. That one bouncing around, no good. And we're going to have an over the back call here hmm. on Eddie Page. We've had a lot of fouls in this first two minutes of the second half. Well, that's what we said. They're going to typically let them <laughs> get away with holes that we see in WWE for one half, and then the next half it's a pillow fight. <laughs> nice analogy. I like it. Indians up by four. Southwest has the ball. 18 10 left in the ball game. Feed it inside. Bryce turns around and gets the shot to fall. Nice move by Bryce. Knows that Page just picked up that foul. Tried to challenge him. Inside they go, and there's a foul here on the other end. Bryce just picked up his fourth. I don't know if you go for that. Uh, he, no, they're actually, yep, that's going to be on Bryce, and that's his he's fourth. A, Man, he's that's going tough. to go out. And that will get Moore getting set to check back in here for the Bears. Who's their leading scorer in the first half. Moore was. So he'll have to come back in here and kind of take over those duties of scoring once again here in the second half. This is Josh Lee at the charity stripe. First free throw, the iron unkind. Well, Southwest in the women's action, they have taken a 26-19 lead with 7.39 to go until halftime down there at Summit. Second free throw, that one rattles it home. So found a way to sneak that one in, 40 to 37. ICC with the advantage and Southwest with the basketball. Lane opens up, goes inside, layup is good. Nice finish there by Drone. And the Indians keep letting Southwest hang around in this when you can't do a good basketball team that way. They can hang around and eventually come back and Make you pay. Jumper, no. Rebound, tipped out and controlled by Drone. Drone kicks out for three. It's on its way. Good. Big three-point basket knocked down there by Brown. Largest lead of the night here for the Bears at two, 42 to 40. 17 minutes and 10 seconds to go here in the contest, and we've got a pushing foul. That's on Drone. And that's his, his third. third. They've got two players with four fouls now, one with third, three, and he's coming out of the ball game. That's tough because Drone has been the spark for Southwest here over the last few minutes. So he will check out. 17 minutes left in the ball game. Southwest up by two, 42 to 40. That shot was blocked, a late whistle, and we'll see who this foul is going to be on. They're going to call this one on number one. That's more in his second foul. Jim, that is six fouls I just heard quickly. That. Six fouls in three minutes. Yeah, wow. ICC's been whistled for three. First free throw from the Indians is up and a good from Singleton. Singleton's been a guy that's been earning more minutes as the season has gone this year, and he has produced well. Drone is going to check back into the contest here after checking out. Just a few moments ago, picking up his third foul. Second free throw, got them both from Singleton. 42-42 is your score. 17 minutes to go here in the second half. Drone with the basketball being guarded closely by Mitten. And you know that's gonna be called. Here we go, folks. We played the first half in less than an hour. They are going to make up for it here in the second half as we have had 10 fouls called in less than four minutes. That's amazing. That's hard to do, by the way. It's impressive. I'll say that. <laughs> impressive. So, Drone with the basketball. He's wanting to drive inside. His pull-up jumper, and there's another whistle. I really wish I would have wrote down how many fouls we had in the first half. <laughs> Because I want to say we're already getting close to the amount of fouls called in the first half already here in the second half. 
So Drone will head to the free throw line. His first one is up in and good. That the last, Bear, go ahead. That I'm last foul called on Rock Robinson, his right. first. And the Bears up by one, trying to push it to two here. 16-43 left in the ball game. He makes them both. So substitution will come back in the game here. This will be number 15, Maury in. Drone will check out. So the Indians with the basketball. Let's see if we can play more than 30 seconds without a whistle. <laughs> Josh Lee with it now, wanting to go on the drive. Lost his dribble for a moment, gets it back. Singleton with it, now works over to Minton. Up top to Rock Robinson. This is Horace with the basketball. He got hit. He got hit in the face and trying to walk it off there. Josh Lee with it now. Three-pointer on its way, back iron no. Rock tried to slap the rebound to himself, but it ends up in the hands of Holloway of the Bears. Bears a chance to build on their large lead of the night. They lead by two. Ball nearly turnover, able to keep it with them. 15 seconds now on the shot clock for the Bears. Try to work off a high screen. Beautiful nice pass. pass. Layup is good. That was Joseph with the basket. As that was just a beautifully designed play there in the lead now. Larger of the night for the Bears, 46-42. And we've got a timeout taken here by the Indians. Timeout on the floor. Let's take the timeout with them and hear a few words from our sponsors and be back with more right after this. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Welcome back as we reset out of that timeout. 15.41 to go here in the contest. 46-42, Southwest with the lead. That is the largest of the night so far here for the Bears. We do. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Say a special hello to those that are tuning in here in favor of the Bears this evening. Also welcome members of the ICC family that have tuned in. Minton with the basketball. ICC working it around the perimeter. Three seconds on the shot clock. Somebody's got to put something up in a hurry here. Wild shot. Oh, nearly falls. Minton chases down the rebound but lost it. Well, if that one would have failed, that would have been our water play Wednesday. No doubt about it. As now the Bears with it on the other end. Kick it out. Spot up for the three. That one's short. No good. And the rebound to the Indians. Josh Lee up the floor in a hurry. Reverse layup. No rebound being fought for between a pair of Indians. And the Bears come away with it. Tough break there for ICC. Now Southwest with it. Their coach asking them to slow it down. Get back under control with this possession here. They do so. Beautiful pass. Layup is good and count the basket. A little push in the back there. It's going to be whistled on Jamari Marshall. Hmm. Well, I tell you what, if you're a fan of old school Princeton basketball, those backdoor cuts, you love watching this Southwest team play. Is a chance at a three point play the old fashioned way here. Adam, they got their largest lead tonight up by six. Could be seven. 14 42 left in the ball game. Southwest Bears. Shooting the free throw, misses. Holloway couldn't get that one to fall. The rebound's going to be tipped out of bounds, and they're going to say last touch. One official says ICC. The other official says Southwest, and they're going to say ICC basketball. Substitution in the game, Jaden Webb is going to re-enter here for the Indians. ICC needs a basket. This trip down the floor in a big way. No doubt. Down by six. Momentum is turned to Southwest. Give them credit. They've hung in all ball game, even being down by 10. Marshall with it. Drops it off to Rock Robinson. His three-pointer is no good. Jim, the biggest part of this ball game here in the second half has been the fact that the Bears have out-rebounded the Indians and able to attack the basket and taking those high-percentage shots. No doubt about it. Nate stretches the lead now to 8, 50-42. 14 minutes left in the ball game. 
And another timeout taken here by ICC. We're going to take the timeout with them and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. This broadcast is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars in Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, TM Realtor Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Holm, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Cagle Eye Center, Bank Okalon, Sam's Town Market in Mantachi, State Farm Insurance Agent Brandon Poland, the ICC Wesley Foundation, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, and donations to the Sports Information Indian Club from viewers like you. Show your school spirit with our exclusive debit cards. Represent ICC with a special card design you can only get from First American National Bank. You'll show your support every time you use the card. Support ICC with a Spirit Debit Card from FANB. And hey, welcome back as we reset out of the timeout. 50-42. to 42. Southwest with their largest lead of the night here over the Indians. And, Jim, they have really controlled things here in the opening going of the second half. Give them credit. You know, they're down 10 first half. They controlled the first six minutes of the second half, extended their lead to eight. ICC needs to get a good shot here, Adam. As the Indians with it, this is Minton with the basketball. Now works it back over to Horace. Horace wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. Good defense by the Bears. Now Lee with it. Kicks it out to Minton for three. Big if it goes, it I does. Made it. Big basket there for Minton. Makes it a 50-45 contest now in favor of the Bears. Minton Real had his feet set then, Adam, and lined it up and knocked it in. So the Bears with it. Let's give you a quick Renaissance Bank scoreboard update as ICC women trail 31 to 25 with 2.45 to go. Ooh, tough shot knocked down nicely there by Joseph. But 31 25, two and a half to play until halftime. Lady Indians down at Southwest. Underneath they go. Indians might have got away with their travel. The tip is not there. Rebounds eventually tipped out to the Bears. Well, I thought a flop was called a technical foul today. As we've seen it called a few times against the Indians this right. season, and the Bears just got away with one there. Bears had the ball up by seven. 12.50 left in the ball game, and I believe our center just got his third foul of the yep. ball game. Well, got him with the body on that one, and I tell you what, the Bears have just used their quickness to beat the Indians to the basketball here in the second half, and... I don't know if you're the Indians, if you don't switch to a zone defense here and start to force them to at least shoot the ball from outside because right now everything the Bears are doing is basically from point blank range as that first free throw is up and good for Moore. You're right, Adam. They are driving the ball on us, getting to the goal, either getting the foul or making the shot. They match their largest lead tonight, 53-45, trying to extend it, which they do, up by nine. So big basket there by the Bears. 12.45 and some change to go in this one. ICC needing to basket this trip down the floor in a big way. Lee, floater in the paint. Nice. Yes. Well, Lee had a very good first half, and he was one of those guys that the Indians need to lean on here to see if he can get hot here in the second half. Cuts it to seven. Twelve and a half minutes left in the ball game. Southwest has the ball with a seven-point lead. Bears want to isolate here, drives inside, shot is bouncing around, no good. Pair of Indians fighting over the rebound, the Bears get the loose ball. That one taken away by Mitten. Mitten is going to be foul from behind. Tough foul there as Joseph thought he might have an easy way to pick his pocket, but instead kind of just bumped Mitten with his body, and so now ICC to the free throw line. Both teams in the bonus here for the final 12.09. You're right. Both teams in the bonus with 12 minutes left in the ball game. So this could be a big part of the game here is who can make free throws or who does it. And this is going to be Mitten heading to the charity strike. Makes the first one. Cuts the lead to six, 54-48, 12 9 left in the ball game. Chris Minton for ICC could cut it to five here. Southwest Bears leading right now by six. 
Substitution coming in the game here is going to be number 10 for ICC. Jamari Marshall will check in. That substitution being brought to you by the Kegel Eye Center here in Fulton. Need to get your eyes checked, set up your appointment by calling 862-EYES. That's 862-EYES. Chris Minton's had a good game, Adam. Come off the bench, got 10 points for the Indians. Indians try a jump trap. As that shot is up, count the basket, oh. and that's going to be another foul on Webb. Boy, I tell you what, Jav Javius Moore has come to play here in the second half. And didn't start the game, as we mentioned. Now he's got 14 points to lead the Bears. And that is the fourth foul there on Webb. Ooh. Substitution coming back in the game is going to be number 21, Joseph, who just checked out. So a chance at a three-point play the old-fashioned way here. And he gets it. Webb will check out. ICC is going to go with the smaller lineup now as Horace, who just checked out as well, checks back in. 12 minutes left in the ball game. Southwest Bears up by eight against your ICC Indians. So this is Minton with the basketball. Picks up his dribble now. Drops it off to Josh Lee. Lee spins. Turnaround jumper. No, the mm. iron unkind. Mm. Did everything but fall that time. And now the Bears with it on the other end. Out of bounds, last touch by the Indians. Adam, Josh Lee knows when he gets the ball offense for his physicality, he can take it to the goal. And he's been doing that most of the game. Unfortunately, that went in and out on him. Turnaround jumper, it's off the mark, no good. Tip, no. Rebound tipped out, and Mitten finds it. He's going to try to fancy lay up that time. Should have just went up strong with it. And now Southwest on the other end. Throws it down for the jam. And they want to take a timeout. Largest lead of the night here for the Bears as Mayo, my Moore with the exclamation point on his performance so far. We're going to take the time out with them and be back with more right after this. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zell and the renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. Hey, Indian fans. I'm Ricky Murphy, real estate agent, Tommy Morgan Realtors, and I'm also a proud alumni of the All-American Marching Band. Itawamba Community College was my home for two years, and where you decide to make your home will be one of the most important decisions of your life. Whether you're looking to create a plan to buy your first home, or if you're ready today to make a move into your forever home, give me a call or send me a message so we can discuss your next move. And for my family, Roll Trash! And welcome back as we reset out of the timeout. 59-49, Bears with their largest lead of the night, matching the largest lead of the Indians as well at 10. 11-14 to play in this one, and Jim, ICC, they got to find something. Got to find something. Got plenty of time. You got 11 minutes, but uh, got to get rhythm going. Got to get some shots falling. Got to stop Southwest. Our defense has not stopped them. They're driving on us this second half. George Marshall drives inside. He is going to be bumped and fouled. And so this should send Marshall to the free throw line. George has struggled a little bit tonight. We got to get him going. He's in foul throw. He has not scored this game, I don't think. Maybe he can put two in here and get rolling. That foul going to be with someone on number 15, Maury, his first foul. Each team with eight fouls so far here in the second half. That free throw good. Get them going here now. So mass substitutions coming in for both teams here. Looks like Eddie Page is going to check back in along with Tucker for the Indians. Second free throw, that one good as well. Good job by Marshall. Cuts the lead to eight. 11 minutes left in the ball game. Southwest Bears up by eight against the ICC Indians. A Renaissance Bank scoreboard update is a near steal there by Tucker. 
It's halftime down at Summit, and the Lady Bears lead that one 36 to 31. Turnover by the Bears. That's what the Indians need there. Create a turnover so they get points on the other end. And another substitution coming in. We're going to see a lot of offense for defense type substitution already in the contest with 10.43 to go, considering how much foul trouble for both teams. So this is Jamari Marshall. He gets a hug, no foul call. <laughs> he did get a hug. Yep. As Josh Lee with it now works it up top to George Marshall. Step back three from George. Yes. We need it. He missed three of those in the first half. He hit that one. And that's a big one there. Makes it a 59-54 contest. 5.20 to play here in the second half. Bears with the basketball. Indians extending that man-to-man -man defense well beyond the three-point line. Shot blocked by Tucker. Now here comes Page on the other end. He, he traveled. He traveled. Yep, he was thinking about throwing that one down, maybe even tearing the rim off of it. <laughs> the big man caught it at the three-point line, and by the time he put the dribble down, yeah. he was at the second tick. <laughs> Had good ideas. Hey, well, we've made a little run here. Ten minutes left in the ball game, only down by five, Adam. So the Indians trying to spark a little bit of life here. As the Bears, as we said, led this one by 10. ICC now has cut it down to a 59-54 contest. Bears swinging around the perimeter. Won't the three, can't get it, and the rebound to George Marshall. George with the basketball. He wants another deep three. That one off the mark, no good. Rebound loose on the floor. Tucker had it but lost it, and the Bears come away with it. I think the ball kind of bounced a little bit quicker than Tucker was anticipating and allowed the Bears to get away with one there. Inside, the Bears go with it, wanting to work one-on-one -on -one against Page. Page stays straight up, and good defense there by Page. Bryce upset that he didn't get the foul called. Indians with it, driving inside, shot is up, no good. Rebound, though, by Page. And blocking foul. We might have caught a break on that one. We did catch a big time break on that might have thrown one. that shoulder into him. Did Bryce just foul out? And I believe so, and I, that's a tough one for that young yeah, man to that, foul that, out on. That, we caught a break on that call. We did, and Bryce does foul out with 9.13 left to play. And so he's going to take the full minute to be able to get his substitution in here as this is Jamari Marshall at the free throw line. Is that a way that the coach is saying he doesn't agree with the call also? Uh, that's the way that you make the referee come talk come to talk you. And he's talking to him. Saying, hey, you got to get your sub in here. And the other official, a little less patient as the other, as he blows the whistle saying, get your guy in. I think in that situation, if you're a referee, you got to let the coach say his, say his say, because that was a questionable call that went in the favor of the Indians. First free throw is good. Jamar Marshall having a solid game. He's got 13 tonight. Can make it 14. Could cut this lead to three. With nine minutes and change left in the ball game. He does. Big free throw is made there. And the Indians want a timeout. Timeout on the floor. 59-56. 9-13 to play. Let's take a break and hear a few words from our sponsors and be back with more right after this on the ICC Sports Network. This broadcast is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars in Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, TM Realtor Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Holm, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Cagle Eye Center, Bank Okalon, Samstown Market in Mantachi, State Farm Insurance Agent Brandon Poland, the ICC Wesley Foundation, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, and donations to the Sports Information Indian Club from viewers like you. Show your school spirit with our exclusive debit cards. Represent ICC with a special card design you can only get from First American National Bank. You'll show your support every time you use the card. Support ICC with a Spirit Debit Card from FANB. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Southwest led as much as 10. ICC has made it a 59-56 contest. 9.13 to go in this one. Adam Gore, Jim Ingram up here in the ICC Alumni Association and Foundation broadcast booth. Got Michael Upton joining us as well, helping out with our stats tonight. Raphael Henry on camera. Lee Adams taking photos for ICCimages.com as well as updating Twitter. You can follow us there at Let's Go ICC. Adam, you mentioned nine minutes left in the ball game. ICC on the 7 0 run, only down by three. I shouldn't have said that. They nail a three. Smart play there, as you saw. Brown pump fake, got the defender in the air, settled, and squared up for the three, and a big one knocked down there. Now makes it a 62 56 contest. George Marshall, who's been quiet in the contest, drops it off to Page. Turnaround hook shot is off the mark, no good. Nothing but blue shirts in the paint to grab the rebound that time. Good look by Page, just couldn't get its fall. Boy, a physical battle inside the paint. Bryce was bodying up Page there, and they let him play for a second. Bears with it. Oh, you got to be kidding. The kid fail. <laughs> no contact on the play there, and Tucker... Gets called for the foul. He bailed them out. Bailed them out big time. I don't mind, you know, a, a foul when it's a foul, but that one happened right there in front of the referee. And, I mean, the kid just kind of rolled his ankle and fell to the floor. And Tucker happened to be within arm's reach of him <laughs> and got called for the foul. So this is going to send Drone to the free throw line. And that one good. Adam, each team has nine fouls. Next fouls on both teams will be in two shots for the rest of the ball game. Yeah, we've been in that bonus ever since no the 12.09 mark. Getting ready to be in double bonus at the eight mark. Second free throw, good. Well, both teams doing a nice job of taking advantage of making their free throws when they have the opportunities this evening. Southwest pushes Lee back up to eight with eight minutes left in the ball game. Indians have the ball down by eight. This is Marshall with the basketball. Drives inside. His shot is up a lot of contact. No foul call. And the rebound, or loose ball, I should say, goes to the Bears. Tucker's got to be careful. He was kind of reaching in on that last play. Drive underneath the basket. Picks up his dribble in trouble. They call timeout. Yeah, timeout. Nope. No. Three the seconds. Quickest three oh seconds. Oh, my gosh. Call three seconds. In the world. We have about... A three seconds called about every 10th game. That was. That was that, amazing. That was a quick three seconds. That was a quick three. I thought, I thought maybe he walked. I'm going to say, or stepped out of bounds yep. or called a foul on the Indians or something. But instead, they say a three second violation against the Bears. So the Indians with the basketball trying to climb back in this one has trailed as much as 10 here in the second half. They're down 64 56. George Marshall drives inside. His shot off the glass, no good. Rebound tipped out to Jamari Marshall for three. Oh, oh. Count the basket! Marshall buries the three-pointer from the corner. Was ran through by the defender and a chance at a four-point play. Could cut it to four here with seven and a half minutes left in the ball game. Jamari Marshall has got 17 points to lead the Indians right now. I apologize for any speakers <laughs> no, that's that I threw out there. And a chance at a four-point play. We need it. The free throw, though, mm. no good. Five-point lead. Southwest has the ball with a five-point lead. Seven minutes, 20 seconds left in the ball game. Bears with the basketball. That was the first miss in seven attempts by the Indians from the free throw line. Kick out, spot up three, big if it goes, it's off the mark, no rebound, and a foul away from the basketball. They called on the and They called that one on the Indians. Well, the official that was furthest away from the situation calls the foul on a player that wasn't near the rebound. Hmm. Two shots for the rest of the ball game for both teams. And that fouls on Jamari Marshall. First free throw falls for Joseph. 
Joseph's had a solid game. He's got 11 points tonight from Ontario, Canada. Went to high school in Florida. Second free throw, got them both. Big makes there for the Bears. Bears have been perfect from the free throw line. Five for five since entering the bonus situation at the 12.09 mark of the contest. Lee kicks it out. Marshall dribbles in. His jumper on its way. No good. Rock Robinson tip. Oh. No, and there's a foul. Good job by Rock. Crashing the boards. Stops the clock. We're down by seven. 6.53 left in the ball game. Rock can get us two points here without the clock running. Be down hopefully by five, Adam. That foul whistled on number 10, Blake Hart. I didn't see the foul on Rock. I saw the push on the rebound away from the ball. So the Indians may be catching a break here on these free throws. Mm. It's that first one no good. Tough miss there for the Indians. Back-to-back -back misses now from the charity strike. Moore re-enters the contest as Joseph will sit out. Second free throw, good from Robinson. 66 to 60, Southwest up by six. 6.50 left in the ball game. Indians gotta find some stops here on the defensive end. But still a lot of time left to play in this one. Bears drive in a little out of control, able to kick it back out now. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Moore with the basketball. Trying to clear everyone out in this situation. Wanting to work one-on-one -on -one here against Rock Robinson. Robinson blocks the shot and the rebound is tipped Great around. Job. And then the ICC gets tackled. And that should be a shot clock violation, but it's not. George Marshall is fouled and looks like he might be poked in the eye on the layup. And Marshall going to have to walk this one off. And Well, Indians catch a break because they never hit the rim on the other end. The ball came back in bounds. Should have been a shot clock violation. But the clock reset to 20 after they saved the ball in bounds. So Indians dodge a big time bullet there. Referees will give Marshall a chance to collect himself on the sideline after getting poked in the eye. I say that, now the referee's like, come on, let's shoot. <laughs> Adam, but they did. They did give him a little bit extra did, time. They did. And then we need to knock down these free throws. We're down by six. Cut it to four. Six minutes left in the ball game. Plenty of time. So this is George Marshall to the free throw line. First free throw. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Waiting the second free throw now here for Marshall. And he gets it to fall. Marshall's got seven points all in the second half here. We cut the lead to four, 66-62, coming up on six minutes left in the ball game. Bears with the basketball. Trying to be a little bit more patient on the offensive side. Now this is drawn with it at the point guard position. Man-to-man -man defense out of the Indians. Drawn wants to work off the screen. Good switch made there by the Indians defensively. Force them back out. Drive inside, kick it into the corner. No, swings it back up top for three. No. Rebound, though, to the Bears. Shots up, no good, but there's a foul. Nice play there by Moore. I've been very impressed with his play tonight. As he just went up strong, got the rebound, now a chance at a pair of free throws here. Moore did not start the game, and he's given quality minutes leading the team with 17 points. A quick Renaissance Bank scoreboard update. ICC trailing with six minutes to go in the third quarter, 44-39 in women's basketball down at Southwest. As that free throw is up in and good. Bears have hit six straight from the charity strike. And second one, good as well. Stints to lead to six, 5.45 left in the ball game. Indians have plenty of time to have the ball down by six. Southwest Bears up, 68-62. This is Jamari Marshall trying to go in the drive, kicks it out to Lee for three. That one off the mark, no good. Page, though, collects the rebound. 
Tries to go up strong, didn't have it. Now kicks it back out to Rock Robinson. Rock dribbling around, now wants to reset. Goes back inside to Lee. Lee, pump fake, shot is up, partially blocked. Chases it down, he is pushed. And they're going to say ball, last touch by the Bears, it goes out of bounds. Well, we talked about the inconsistency this group of officials tend to have late in the contest. And I hate to say it, Jim, we're starting to see it come out once again here as Lee was pushed to the floor on that rebound that time and no foul call. 30-second timeout on the floor. Let's keep it here with 5.17 to play, 68-62. Jim, gut check time here for the end. No doubt about it. you got to play physical. They're letting you play physical, we think, most of the ball game. We're only down by six. Over five minutes left in the ball game. Play physical, run your offense. you got to rebound because they've really hit the boards hard. we got to stop them driving the ball. We've done a better job the last five minutes of the ball game. They had that 10-point lead, but we've knocked it down to six. We need to score when we had the opportunities, and we could, got a chance to cut it to 4-3 on this possession. So the Indians will have the basketball, 5-17 to go here in the contest. We'll see. The Indians have been tested. They were down 13 at a very tough Northwest team last week, able to come back and win. Fell behind as much as 10 here in the second half. Has got it cut down to a 68-62 lead in favor of the Bears. George Marshall with the basketball. Four seconds on the shot clock. Marshall steps back for three. Got it. <laughs> he set him up. Big basket knocked down there. The Indians take a quick timeout. We're going to take the timeout with them and be back with more right after this. Ooh, Bumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. Ever since we opened our doors in 1964, Davis Ford and Fulton has been committed to providing the highest level of customer service and customer satisfaction. That level of commitment is shown in our 18 Ford President's Awards for overall customer experience. Whether you're looking for a tune-up, a trade-in, or a new F-150, the team at Davis Ford is here to serve you. Come see us today in Fulton. Call us at 662-862-3711 or visit us online at davisfordsales.com. Davis Ford, small town dealership, small town prices. And welcome back. Just in case you heard a bevy of whistles as we headed into the timeout, it was a fact that ICC tried to call a full timeout. The referees gave him a 30-second timeout. ICC <laughs> sat down. The referees blew the whistle and said, stand up. ICC said we wanted a full timeout. The referees blew the whistle and said, you got a full timeout. A lot of whistle activity. There was. So just in case anybody heard all that as we headed into the break, just wanted to cl clarify that for you as there's really no technicals or anything going on. Uh, that you normally hear or think about in that situation. Five minutes to play in the contest. ICC trailing 68 to 65. Bears with the basketball. Jumpers on his way, no good. George Marshall rips the rebound. Indy has a chance to tie it with a three. Page with the basketball. Tries to go inside, nothing there. Kicks it out, but wisely gets out of the lane before a three second call that we saw earlier in the contest. This is Jamari Marshall with it now. Drops it off to Page, who wants to go in and dunk it. But he's going to be bumped on the way up. That foul whistled on zero, and that's going to be it for him. I said Bryce got his fifth. It is, and he will head to the sideline with 4.36 to play. His second player for the Bears to foul out of the contest. And he didn't like it, but he did kind of give Paige a little bit of a bump. And it just signaled to the ICC student section that they were number one. Yep. And Page to the free throw line. That one no good. So waiting this second free throw here from Page. 
Second one, no, mm. that one halfway down but rolled out. So a pair of misses there by the Indians. They still trail this one, 68-65. Inside four and a half to go. This is drawn with it now, drops it off into the corner. Bears want to go on the drive, spin. Shot is up, a lot of contact, no foul on the Indians. Wow. The Southwest coach has every right to be upset with that one. But then, ball don't lie as they tried to throw it inside the page that time. He lost it out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Bears. Bears with the ball, four minutes left in the ball game, up by three. Page will check out the contest. ICC will go with a little bit of a smaller lineup here with four minutes to play as Jim just talked about. This is Tucker who has checked back in for the Indians. And then Tucker nearly gets the steal. It's going to be out of bounds. Last touched by the Indians. Great defense. Tucker's getting some good minutes tonight. So the Bears will have the basketball. 19 seconds on the shot clock. Drawn with it. Feeds it inside. Boy, that's a mismatch. And the spin in the paint. Shot is up and good. Well, Moore... Got the layup to fall there. That was a big basket as he found himself mismatched underneath as Marshall drives inside, and there's going to be a foul called here on Moore. And Moore, I understand you felt like you got a lot of the ball, but you got him with the body. You got to be careful in these situations here if you're Moore. You don't want to overreact to some of these foul calls and draw a technical foul with this ball game still being in doubt. No doubt about it. George Marshall has been solid second half, didn't score first half. Got 11 points so far in the second half. Got hit in the eye, playing through that pain. Could cut it to three here with three and a half minutes left in the ball game. Second free throw on its way, and that one good. Webb will check back into the contest. Jamari Marshall will check out. These substitutions are being brought to you by Bank Oklahoma. Three-point contest, 70 to 67, three and a half to play. ICC and Southwest. Loose ball on the floor. George Marshall gets it. Does he call a timeout or are they going to call a jump ball? Possession arrow in favor of the Indians. Jump ball. Great hustle there by George Marshall. Well, offense for defense action going here as ICC going to send in a couple of substitutions. Looks like Jamari Marshall will come back into the game along with Chris Minton. Or actually, they're going to not send Webb in. And we'll send Minton in instead. Right now, you want, if you're the Indians, you kind of want to weave the offense here, see if you can catch the defense sleeping and find Minton open for a spot up three. Lee instead goes inside, and he's fouled. And that one's going to be called on Holloway, and Holloway kind of upset on the foul call. I'm going to have to say don't blame him there. Not at all. Uh, he, he was straight up. He went straight up and was backing away. We caught a break. The referee called it. He was behind the play. Three eighteen left in the ball game. Indians can cut it to one here. Josh Lee at the foul line. We're down by three, shooting two. First free throw by Josh. It's good. First free throw. Yeah, thank you, Jim. Michael. 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 Go tell Raphael he is killing the stream every time he does that. He's killing the feed. We don't need that. Tell him he's killing the feed every time he, he's trying to do whatever he's doing over there. Go tell him to stop. Just go tell him to stop doing what he's doing. Sorry, folks. That's all right. <laughs> Lead to, could cut it to one here, Adam. 318 left ball game. He does it. Big free throws there. We do apologize for the feed cutting in and out. Southwest has the ball coming up on three minutes. They're up 70 to 69. And a foul on the floor is going to be called on Rock Robinson. That'll be two shots. And so a pair of free throws coming up here for the Bears. Don't know how this game's going to end, but Javius Moore has come off the bench and has 21 points. He's been the highlight reel for Southwest tonight. He has been the spark for sure. And makes that one. The Bears are 8 of 8 from the free throw line ever since entering the bonus situation back at the 12.09 minute. 
or I should say 12.09 mark. And makes them both big makes there. 3.05 left in the ball game. Southwest Bears up by three. 72-69, the Indians have the ball plenty of time. Bears, are gonna, excuse me, the Indians are gonna let this one roll forward a little bit. Jamari Marshall gets it now. Kicks it out to Lee. Lee wants to drive inside, and his shot is up, and that's a charge. And that's the correct call. That is a good call Lee there. And a nice take on the part of Maury. As Lee a little bit out of control, and Maury a little slow to get up there. And he will check out, and checking back in will be more. Renaissance Bank scoreboard update. A minute left to go in the third quarter. Summit. It's the Bears up 50 to 44 over the Lady Indians. Three minutes left in this ball game. The Bears up by three with the ball. This is Holloway with the basketball. Chance of defense raining out here in the Davis Event Center. Moore sees a trap, feeds it inside, shot is up. Rebounds tipped out, tipped around, and it's going to be last touch by the Indians as it goes out of bounds. That ball just pinballed around. It didn't want to go to anybody that time, Jim. Is it four seconds up on the shot clock, Adam? Is that correct? Yes, because the ball never changed That's correct. possession. And the Bears want to take a timeout. Full timeout on the floor. We're going to take the timeout with them. Hear a few words from our sponsors and be back with more right after this. This broadcast is being brought to you by Renaissance Bank, Little Caesars in Fulton, Tupelo Coca-Cola Bottling Works, the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, Davis Ford, First American National Bank, TM Realtor Agent Ricky Murphy, Max Holm, the ICC Baptist Student Union, Cagle Eye Center, Bank Okalon, Samstown Market in Mantachi, State Farm Insurance Agent Brandon Poland, the ICC Wesley Foundation, the ICC Foundation and Alumni Association, and donations to the Sports Information Indian Club from viewers like you. The slices and the sticks. All I ever wanted for dinner was pizza, Marcy. And all I ever ask of you was sticks. <gasps> Don't choose. Get Little Caesar slices and sticks. Half pizza, half Italian cheese sticks. And Dane's awake. Oh, Dane. I smell bacon. <laughs> End the dinner drama with hot and ready slices and sticks. Or order online for new jalapeno or bacon sticks. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Three-pointer from the corners off the mark. No good. Another rebound and a foul underneath on the Indians. Boy, I tell you what. Rebounding here in the second half is going to be a big note by the end of the night because the Bears have gotten timely rebounds down the stretch. No doubt about it, Adam. And again, that's Javius Moore. We mentioned maybe we can jinx him here. He hadn't missed a free throw in the second half. I don't think has he, Michael. 10 for 10 tonight, shooting another two, and he missed one. That was the first miss out of their last 10 attempts. And a big miss there. End of the third quarter down at Summit. Southwest leading ICC 54-47. That's through three quarters of play. Southwest three-point lead trying to push it to four here. And they miss us both. both. Wow. Rare misses from the free throw line tonight by the Bears. 72-69. Two minutes and 18 seconds to play in this one. Rock Robinson with the rebound. Now gets it out to George Marshall. Marshall for three. Yes! Marshall steps back, knocks down the three, ties it up 72 72 with 209 to play. Don't you go anywhere, folks. We've got a good one going here. Back with more right after this. Ooh, Bumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. 
five dollars for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. They say Diet Coke is a mom's drink. Well, you copied her jeans, her spin, her shoes, her scrunchie, and whether you realize it or not, her music. Now, copy her drink. Drink what your mama gave you. Today tastes like staying in. And it never tasted this good. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we reset out of the timeout. The Indians trail by 10 here in the second half and battled back to make it a 72-72 contest with 2.09 to play in this one. ICC want to come out now in a full court press. Bears handle it without an issue. This is Moore with it running the point guard position. He has been solid for the Bears here in the second half. Two minutes left in the ball game, all tied up. 15 seconds now on the shot clock for the Bears. Pull up jumper from the key is on its way. Good. Nice shot knocked down there by Joseph. 74-72. Southwest with the lead. George Marshall with the basketball. ICC trailing by two with a minute 35 to play in this one. That's who you want to have the ball. He's got all 15 points in the second half. Feed it underneath the web. Web shot. And we've got a foul. They're going to say on the floor. Still shoot two. There'll still be two free throws coming up. And I think that's going to be it here for Moore. That's big. And boy, that's a tough one there. Third player to foul out tonight for the Bears as Moore will foul out with 1.30 to play. You said it, Jim. That's a tough one because he's been one of the two go-to guys between Moore and Joseph here for the Bears. He's been great. He fouled out with 23 points. Nothing to hang your head about on that one there for that young man. He has been impressive tonight. For the Indians, though, you've got a little meat left on the bone. Webb's first free throw, no good. Wait in the second. And neither one of those falls. Big misses there for the Indians. Southwest with the ball, two-point lead. A minute 25 left on the ball game. Thought about the three instead. Wisely backs it back out now. Wants to work a little bit of clock. Do the Bears. 1.15 to play. 74-72. Southwest with the lead and the basketball. Little give and go action now. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Driving inside, and the shot is up, and that's a foul. There's no doubt that's a foul. Yeah. Woo that was the stinger splash on Webb, and I believe that's going to be the fifth on Webb, and it is. And that is going to be his fifth foul, so he will have to check out. Fourth player of the game to foul out. <clears throat> he will check out, and Chris Mitten will check in. This is Holloway at the free throw line. A chance to build on this two-point advantage. That free throw, good. Holloway's had a solid game. He's got 11 points. Could make it a two-possession game with a minute five left here if he makes this free throw. And, and he, he does. does. Big free throws made there. Adam, we're down before. Minute left in the ball game. You got time. Got to get a good shot here, though. One minute to play. Jamari Marshall oh, goes inside. That's, That's an offensive foul. It was. Yep, it was. We saw it from here, the elbow. Just got that push off and good call by the official. Got That's a pressure on now, Adam. Say Jamari trying to get a definition there, but, yeah, most definitely pushed off. And as you said, Jim, you got to put some pressure on here, try to get a steal. And the Bears want a timeout. Timeout on the floor. We're going to take the timeout with them. 76-72. Back with more right after this. 
Little Caesars Detroit style deep dish pizza has caramelized crispy cheese edges and a soft, chewy center. Do you love it, Matthew Stafford? I'm not a walking billboard. Okay, never mind. Pizza, pizza. Get Little Caesars Detroit style deep dish pizza for just $8.99. Pizza, pizza. It's the Little Caesars Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. A Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. Totally. Thanks, Matthew Pafford. Order online before games and you can win prizes, like Super Bowl 57 tickets. Pizza, pizza. Everyone has a unique story to tell. Maybe your story has you performing your new song in front of a crowd, getting to play your favorite sport, or enjoying a horseback ride in the country. At Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi, our group of skilled surgeons understand your need to continue your story. That is why we are the preferred choice for orthopedic care. Thank you for choosing us. Our story is you. Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Got to get you to. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we check in or check back out of the timeout. 76-72. Southwest with the basketball. The balls will be slapped out of bounds. We'll stay with the Bears. 55 seconds to go now in the contest. And he's going to go for the steal, if not a foul. The problem is the Bears have been solid from the free throw line. So the Bears get it and a great job of playing keep away, not allowing the Indians to commit the foul. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Bears with the Indians have got to get a stop here. They're electing not to foul. Four-point contest. Drone with the basketball. 10 seconds now on the shot clock. Drone dribbling up. Looking to work one-on-one -on -one here. Step back jumper on his way, halfway down, knowing the rebound to George Marshall. 24 seconds to play. Marshall spins around, sees a double team, and it's going to be a jump ball, and it's going to belong to the Bears. Big time stop there by the Bears. Give them credit. They knew Marshall won the drive with the ball. They <laughs> kind of double teamed him. He lost the ball. They get the ball here with a four-point lead, 20 seconds left of the ball game. we got to try to steal and then foul immediately at him if you can't steal. Yeah, if not, foul before the ball is even inbound, so no time will come off the clock. The Bears barely get it in. The Indians trying to foul, no call. Still trying to foul, no call. That's a travel, no call. He threw it to himself. Where have the officials gone all of a sudden? The layup is good. My goodness. The Indians try to foul three times. The Three-pointer on his way. It's no good. The Southwest player throws the ball to himself to avoid the trap. No travel is called. And the Bears leave here with a 78-72 to win. The officials, rightfully so, haul him butt off the court. My gosh. That was embarrassing to the game of basketball. And missed they, a few calls there, man, Adam. I mean, it was the fact that the Indians grabbed them, held them, no call. Grabbed them, held them again, no call. And then you had the ball slip away, and the guy threw it to himself, no call. And then the Indians tried to foul again, no call. The Bears get the layup at the end to pick up the 78-72 win. We're going to take a break, gather ourselves, and come back with the Renaissance Bank postgame report right after this. Ooh, fumble. Let's give her a Renaissance replay. Make the right call with Renaissance and get cell phone protection with Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking. Sign up today. $5 for my own money? That's a bad call. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking with ATM refunds today. Today, Tastes like a home game, like a huddle. Tastes like we're bringing the heat and like a front row seat. <laughs> Today tastes like we're a team and it never tasted this good. Slices and sticks with half pizza, half Italian cheese sticks is back. So you'll never fight over dinner again. Get hot and ready slices and sticks. Or order online for new jalapeno or bacon sticks. Pizza, pizza. 
pizza, pizza. It's the Little Caesars Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. A Pizza, Pizza pregame with Pals, Pepsi, and Pizza. Totally. Thanks, Path, you Pafford. Order online before games and you could win the total touchdown prize pack. Pizza, pizza. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle in the Renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Your final score here, Southwest comes in and takes care of business from the free throw line down the stretch to pick up the 78-72 win here over the Indians. A big one there because that now puts the Southwest Bears back in the chase for the regular season championship uh, with the win tonight against the Indians. And, Jim, uh, your final thoughts on tonight's contest? Two good teams, Adam. A very well-played game. Yeah, there's some questionable calls at the end, but give Southwest credit. They deserve to win this ball game. They found a way to win by six. They have some guys step up big. A guy came off the bench, gave him 23 points. And they made the free throws down the stretch that Michael did a good job keeping up with and found a way to come away with a win on the road by six. All the credit to Southwest. ICC played well, just not quite good enough. They'll rebound, we hope. Absolutely. And we do. I know we say, you know, some questionable calls and things like that down the stretch. We don't want to slight Southwest. No, we don't. By any stretch of the imagination because they did a great job of – one, taking care of business, because when you get to the free throw line, if you don't make the free throws, you don't win. You look at the final 12:09 when both teams went into the bonus situation. ICC finished uh, making uh, 14 of 20, and then the Bears went and they made 11 of 13. No so that's the it. difference in the contest right there, taking advantage from the free throw line down the stretch. Uh, we're going to take a look at some of these uh, highlights from tonight's contest. Brought to you by Little Caesars here in Fulton. And, Jim, let's you do a game recap. Brought to you by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Uh, your thoughts on the game tonight one more time. My thoughts on the game tonight, two good teams that will do well in the postseason. I give Southwest a lot of credit. They came in here, was not intimidated, great crowd for the Indians, and found a way to basically to make more shots than we did. They took the ball to the basket. They, both teams were shooting – uh, in the bonus early in the second half, and they found a way to knock down the free throws, and we didn't. And give them credit, they deserved the victory tonight. Absolutely. Did a much better job of controlling the boards rebounding-wise in the second half as well. Let's take a look at some final stats here. Of course, as always, these stats unofficial when it comes to the end of the night. These stats being brought to you by Sam's Town Market, who is your source for fresh meat, produce, dairy, and local products. Located at 371 North, right there in Mantachi. Stop by and see Sam Ferris and the rest of the folks at Sam's Town Market. I'll go by and see them because it's Super Bowl weekend. There you and go. Anytime I fire up the grill, that's where I go. And so I'll be checking out Sam this weekend. That's uh, Sam does an outstanding job again tonight. 78-72, Southwest Bears find a way to win on the road. Javius Moore came off the bench, led him with 23 points. Holloway had 14. Deshaun Joseph, the player from Ontario, Canada, had 14. Drone had nine. Deion Brown had nine. Bryce, Bryce, who had foul trouble the entire game, played solid, but he only had four points. Hart fouled out. He had four points, and Maury had one point. For the Indians tonight, Jamari Marshall had 17 to lead the team. Josh Lee had 16. George Marshall scored all 15 hits points. Second half, Chris Minton had 11 points. Tucker had two. Horace had two. Singleton had three, and Rock Robinson had six. Looking at some final stats for the ball game, rebound-wise, Southwest had 33 rebounds. ICC had 30. Southwest had eight steals. ICC had 11. Each team had four, four blocks apiece, but the name of the game, ICC missed 10 free, free throws tonight, was 24-34. Southwest only missed six, 23-29, and found a way to win 78-72. In this league, that's the little things are no usually doubt. what makes the difference in the ball games tonight. So those were your final stats being brought to you by Samstown Market there in Mantachi. We do have to name a star of the game, and I tell you what, uh, it's tough to pick just one of the situation because it seemed like in spurts we had they different were. players step up throughout the night. So Jim, I want to let you, uh, since you got some of those numbers in front of you there, uh, talk about tonight's star of the game. Well, I thought a lot of our players played very well, but be consistent the entire game. I'm going to go with Josh Lee. He had 16 points. He scored in the first half and second half. 
and played well, drove the ball down the lane, very physical tonight. I'm going to get him the player of the game. So that is your player of the game for tonight's action. ICC will be back in action uh, at Colin on the 13th. That means the women will be here against Colin. That will be our breast cancer awareness uh, night there in Fulton. So we do encourage you to wear pink and come out and support the Lady Indians. Speaking of the Lady Indians, well, things have gone awry in the fourth quarter as Southwest has pulled ahead in that one, 73-57, with about four minutes left to play there. So that's going to do it here from Fulton. With the basketball, gets it to there you go. We're going to take, him, <laughs> I guess, take a look alive there. As you see, I'm not lying to you, 73-57 now. But we'll come back here and get that out of the way. There we go. So for one final time here from Fulton, ICC Falls, 78-72. For Raphael Henry, Michael Upton, Jim Ingram, and Taylor Land and Lee Adams, I'm Adam Gore saying so long from Fulton. Hope you guys have a great weekend and roll tribe. So when are you going to give me back for the pizza? Oh, personal foul. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make a successful handoff when you transfer funds to friends and family with Zelle in the renaissance mobile app. Let's give him a renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today.